So as the old saying goes, good things come to those who wait. And I was about to test this to its fullest extent on my latest trip out. After a 4.30am start, I headed off to Summerlees in Northamptonshire to a place I'd been to before for some wildlife photography. There were some lovely hives there and I'd had some success in previous visits, so I had high hopes when I arrived at this place. Good things come to those who wait? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. Well, good morning and welcome to this week's video. Um, this week I'm at a place called Summerlees Nature Reserve, which is in Northamptonshire. And it's a huge expanse of water where you've got lots of uh, wading birds, I think, and different types and bits and pieces. But I've come here because, well, it's the first time I've been here for quite a long time, probably five or six years. And the reason that I've come here is there's, right down in the far end of the reserve, there's um, a small area where you get sort of garden birds and being fed. And last time I was here, there were loads of different species like bullfinch, chaffinch, great tits, reed bunting, the sort of things that I just don't get in my garden. So I thought I'd come down and, uh, you know, take a really early morning visit. It's about six o'clock. But um, I've got to the hide and there's no food out. There's a little bit of food out, but the only thing eating the food at the moment is a squirrel and um, a couple of uh, a couple of jackdaws that have just turned up. So I'm not altogether sure if this is uh, if it's used anymore for a start, and secondly, if it is, is it frequented by the same birds? Uh, I'm going to stick around for a little while and find out, but um, if not then I guess I should just have to go and find somewhere else to uh, to go and take some pictures, probably down in one of the hides by the water and see what uh, see what waterfowl I get. It's a bit disappointing actually here because last time I was here there were a lot more um, <clears throat> perches whereas now all you've really got really is one perch and a load of feeding tables which is uh, not really the best for photography is it? It's um, you know I'll stay and take some photos but it's uh, it's not the best because you're not getting them in there or what would be a natural habitat it's sort of like sat on a feeding table so it's not amazing but uh yeah we'll stick around we'll see what other birds come along I'd say it's rather slow so far. I reckon I've been here about half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and I've had a couple of bullfinches, uh, a chaffinch, which I didn't manage to get a shot of, some jackdaws, um, and some squirrels, and that's about it. But I don't know whether there's a time when someone comes and replenishes all the food, and maybe that's what's keeping the birds away. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's rather slow at the moment, but um, you know, it's still nice to be out. It's a beautiful morning, sun's out, it's really nice. I might try and 
want to go and try one of the other hides in a bit but uh i really want to get some nice shots here i have good memories of this place and it's like i don't want it to be uh sort of tarnished by by having a bad day So that didn't really work did it let's be honest with you um that hide was a bit disappointing it was pretty slim pickings really a couple of uh a couple of bullfinches and uh that was about it really not a lot else um and that's the problem really with doing these sort of wildlife videos you just don't know what you're going to get uh, i've moved on to another hide now but to be quite honest with you it's so far away from the water the birds are so far in the distance it's gonna you know it's not going to be very good work. Um, we're going to get very many good shots over here either. So I'm not really sure what to do. I think I might have a wander around and see if any of the other hides are a bit better positioned. But it's disappointing really because last time I came here, the hide that I was just in was teeming with birds and there were some really good perches. And there were just birds everywhere. And I appreciate it's early in the morning and they might not have you know, restocked the food and that might be why there aren't that many about. But even if there were the perches are really poor for photography i'm quite disappointed um, and this place doesn't look much better either so but we'll stick with it i don't want to moan too much because it's still a lovely morning but um yeah it's been very tricky so far <laughs> This is hide number three, and apart from a couple of rabbits, or possibly hares, I'm not sure, there's very little within camera focal length to take any images of. It's, uh, it's proven to be very frustrating and quite disheartening, actually. Um, I guess patience should be the name of the game, but I don't have very much of it left, if I'm honest with you, and I'm probably going to go home. Um, I mean, there's bloody birds everywhere, but <laughs> it's just, I can hear you. There's birds everywhere, but there's none anywhere near. So, what do you do? So, a 4:30 a.m. start, an hour's drive, a lot of walking, and a lot of waiting, resulting in absolutely zero output, no photos. So, you could say it's a bit of a disaster today. And you may also be asking me, "Good things come to those who wait, Gary." Well, yeah, they do, actually, because without days like today, the successes wouldn't feel so sweet. So next time you're out and you're having a bad day, just remember that you need the lows 
to have the hive. I'm going to leave you with a few photos that I took last time I was here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.